Hello everyone. In this video, I will tell you about advanced level curves. In previous videos, I have told you about the linear level curves. So this one is non-linear level curves. Now, in a non-linear level curve, you need to focus on the equation. In general, I am giving you an equation like y equal to x square. Simple y equal to x square. What will be the curve? So obviously it is not going to be a straight line because 1 power is 2. <clears throat> so how you are going to draw level curve for this? y equal to x square simply can be drawn utilizing this format. This is the equation of y equal to x square. It will pass through this but if I do it like y equal to x square plus minus 4, then either it will go up or it will go down. Simple and basic structure y equal to x square. But what happens if they give you y equal to minus x square? Then how to draw it? Simply y equal to minus x square will be this. There will be another two parallel diagrams in this concept is y square equal to x and y square equal to minus x. In this y square equal to x, in this y square equal to x diagram, that is very easy again. Here, you have to draw it. Now coming to the second part. In y square equal to x, you have to draw it like this. And y square equal to minus x is this. And in the previous diagram, the structure is y equal to x square and y equal to minus x square. So this is the step one of the level curves with respect to power two. Generally, it is called a hyperbola. Sorry, it's called a parabola. And there will be some hyperbola types also coming. Next part is non-linear with the cubic part. For example, y equal to x is q minus 3x. You see, it is called cubic because of the highest power. The highest power decides whether it is a cubic. If the highest power is 2, it is called quadratic. If the highest power is 1, it is called a linear. Okay, in this way, 4 means quadratic, 5 means penta, 6, etc. Now, how to draw this one? So, I am giving you a quick look on this. First, you need to differentiate that is 3x squared minus 3 equal with 0 which will give you x value as plus minus 1. Next is you again have to differentiate this part so that will give you 6x. Putting plus 1 and minus 1 over here you will get two values that is at plus 1 greater than 0 and minus 1 less than 0. According to maxima minima rule we can say that this will give you the minimum point and this will give you the maximum point. So what is the final answer then in this perspective? So this is the y value, this is the x value. So plus 1 associated with the x value gives you what? y equal to 1q minus 3 into 1 that is minus 2 and y equal to minus 1q minus 3 into minus 1 which will give you plus 2. So the two extreme points is 2 comma minus 2 and this is associated with 1. If we put 1, we are getting minus 2. And if we are putting minus 1, we are getting plus 2. And with the plus 1, this is called the minimum. And this is our maximum. So now this is the mathematical portion. You can just put it in a curve. And the curve will look like this. After all this stuff. Okay. As it's a video, so you can pause the video in order to copy this section. Okay. And this portion now I am going to draw the curve. Remember these two points were very important. Now, if I am going to draw the curve, so we I need two points minus one, one comma minus two. One comma minus two will be here somewhere, and minus one comma two will be somewhere here. Okay. Now our job is to draw the curve. So obviously this is the maximum point. So my curve will be like this and this is my minimum point. But again a confusion occurs whether we go by the origin or the right hand side. Here the simple solution is 
you put therefore the curve y equal to x is q minus 3x you put 0 at the place of x so this will also give y equal to 0 so x equal to y equal to 0 is a point hence it must pass through the origin hence this point is 1 comma minus 2 and this is minus 1 comma 2 and this is your representation of y equal to x q minus 3x cubic level curve.